Okay, we're going to introduce our project packet of making a picture frame for a 5 by 7 picture. You're going to start by pausing the video and copying, excuse me, drawing exactly what you see here. Make sure you use a ruler and make sure your text is very neatly written. So on all our project packets, there can be no unknowns. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns on this though. So I'm gonna give you a lot of the information and then at the end, you're gonna complete what's called a cut list. So the material thickness is 0.75, also known as 3 fourths, and the width is 1.5 or one and a half. We're gonna complete what's called a step rabbit. So if you took the picture frame and you put a piece of it on its edge and took a picture on the side, you can see that it's three quarters of an inches in thickness and it's one and a half inches in width. The step rabbit is cut so that we can have a place to put the glass, the picture, maybe some matting to hold it all in and a backer board to hold everything into the frame. The frame is going to overhang the picture by 0.25 or a quarter of an inch on all sides. Basically, that is what this dotted line signifies. Okay, the dotted line is the five by seven picture and the frame overhangs the picture 0.25 or one fourth of an inch on all four sides. What you're gonna do is first you're gonna find the inside dimension of the frame and the opening that the picture will be placed or the opening where the picture is centered. Next, you're gonna add the width of the frame pieces. So this is one and a half here one and a half, one and a half, and one and a half. And then you're going to write in the dimension on the outside edge of the frame. So once you know this, this dotted line is five inches by seven inches, you have to subtract this quarter inch here and a quarter inch there, quarter inch, quarter inch, and then you're going to, that'll give you the inside dimension that your picture is centered on this frame. Then you add the width and the width, and that's gonna give you the dimension that you're gonna put on your dimension line up here and the dimension line you're gonna put here. Okay, remember a couple things about dimension lines. They line up with the drawing, okay? They line up perfectly with the drawing. They have a beginning and an end. A lot of times we just use arrows and the dimension is always going to be in inches. Okay, so you can see that the dimension line is lined up perfectly with the drawing, but it doesn't touch. It has arrows to signify this is the end. It's going from this point to that point, all right? And there be a size that you're going to figure out that you're going to mark on there that will always be in inches. Now, I want you to complete a cut list. A cut list is defined as the exact dimensions of every piece of the project. Okay, and it's always written this way. So you're going to have part name, the number of pieces, the thickness of the pieces, a little baby X, the width of the pieces, a little baby X, and the length of the pieces. Here's an example. On a cabinet, there's sides, and there's two of them. They're three quarters of an inch thick, they're 15 and a quarter wide, and they're 20 inches long. So your cut list will be written like this, long sides, short sides, and you'll complete the rest. One more time, I'm going to go through briefly on how you figure out the dimension of your pieces. We know the thickness and we know the width. Here's how you figure out the length. This is a five by seven picture, but the frame overhangs it a quarter of an inch on both sides. So that means it's smaller than five by one fourth and one fourth or four and a half. On this dimension, it's seven inches from this dotted line to that dotted line, but we have to subtract a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch so that's six and a half now we know the inside of this picture frame you have to add inch and a half here and inch and a half here that'll give you this dimension and then you would add inch and a half here and an inch and a half there that would give you this dimension good luck i think you got this let's get this done so we can get back in the shop and let's get back to building